welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insights. And today we continue with Divine Experience Day 16. Life has its seasons of ups and down. And sometimes we go through dark phases. It could be a sickness, a loss, a heartbreak, a divorce, loss of a job, just to mention but a few. Sometimes we go through those times of intense loneliness, times when we feel lost, when we just don't know what to do. That time when fear envelops you and you feel like the cloud will never lift. You get to that point in life where you start feeling like you can't take it anymore. You feel like God has turned the lights out on you. And you start asking yourself, how can God allow something like that to happen to you? You may go through the season of people even giving up on you. You feel like life has given up on you. And to the extent of feeling like you're giving up on yourself too. But then, right when you are on that edge, something happens that has God written all over it. Right when you think this is it for me, God says, I'm not yet done with you. And until I'm done, you're not done. And I relate with this If you listened to one of the episodes I shared about my personal moments like that, you know it is possible for God to say when you're feeling like you're done, I'm not done with you. So today we are going to read a story we are very familiar with, the story of Jonah. And we're going to read about his experience after Jonah was swallowed by the great fish. Jonah from chapter 2 from verse 1 says then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the fish belly and he said I cried out to the Lord because of my affliction and he answered me out of the belly of shore I cried and you heard my voice for you cast me into the deep into the heart of the seas and the floods surrounded me all your billows and your waves passed over me. Then I say, I have been cast out of your sight, yet I will look again towards your holy temple. The waters surrounded me even to my soul. The deep closed around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the moorings of the mountain. The earth with its bars closed behind me forever. Yet you have brought up my life from the pit, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Those who regard waterless idols forsake their own mercy, but will sacrifice to you with a voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. So the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto the dry land. What a powerful, powerful, desperate prayer. You know, Jonah's story is really not that complicated. (laughs) It's not that complicated. Yeah, you had me right. He was a believer. He was a child of God. And one one day God sends him to a place called Neve. But Jonah like a rebellious, resistant child, decides to run away from the Lord. And he gets on a ship and heads off to a different place. But the Lord pursues Jonah on the wings of a storm. And when he realizes that those who are with him will perish with him in that storm, he confesses what he has done and asks them to draw him into the sea. But the Bible says that the Lord appointed a great fish to swallow Jonah. You see, Jonah had just hit rock bottom. He had survived the storm. He had he had survived drowning. But now he was in a new depth. In his opinion, he was as good as dead. And he even says that he cried out from the depths of the grave. 
But after the experience he just had, after surviving all this, Jonah knew that there was no distance too long for the Lord to hear him. And so at that time when he needed most when he when when he most needed peace, at a time when he needed assurance, Jonah cried out to the Lord and the Lord heard him. You know, sometimes it becomes so hard to pray when we are in distress. We become so engrossed in our sufferings that we forget that the Lord listens to us. We forget that we are not alone in our suffering. But Jonah says, out of the belly of Sheol, the Lord heard his voice. He knew he had never been out of God's hand. He knew he wasn't too far down that he was out of God's reach. He knew that none of his trouble that he had gone through had been without God's knowledge. And that that is why he says, you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea. He might have played a part in his being there. The sailors might have had a hand in him being there. But Jonah knew that nothing happened without the Lord's knowledge. You know, we've said before in this series of divine experience that when the Lord wants to get your attention, he isolates you. Everyone we've looked at had their divine experience and they were alone. And we see the same thing happening with Jonah. The time in the belly of the fish might have been difficult. It might have been uncomfortable. But that experience was necessary to break Jonah's disobedient nature. He needed to be alone for his eyes to be open to his sin and to his misgiving. But beyond the Lord using the fish as a confinement, as an isolation room for Jonah, the Lord used the discomfort as a protective haven from something worse. He used it to keep Jonah from drowning. And so even through the throes or the con consequences of his action, God still protected Jonah. He still showed his love to him. And in the midst of the, of the turmoil, the Lord gave him time to empty his sinful heart. He gave him time to reflect on the condition of his heart, on his relationship with God. The Lord turned Jonah's crisis into a sanctuary. He made a sanctuary where Jonah would have his encounter with God right in the middle of his tongue. And in that moment, when everything had diminished from his sight except the Lord, Jonah realized his dependence on God. And we see this when he says, I cried out for help. In that moment, when there was nothing between him and God, when all distractions, his pride, and his prejudice had been removed, Jonah got his alone moment with God and he surrendered. He submitted to God without reservation and he was ready to obey. The Lord commanded the fish to release him. The Lord used the very thing that Jonah had thought to be his end to deliver him to the coast. The Lord desired for him to be in Nineveh but his attempts to do things by his own mind, Jonah had ended up in the wrong place. But the Lord in his sovereign timing prepared a way to move him from the middle of the ocean to where he wanted him to be. And at the end of his divine encounter, Jonah had experienced something we have seen in so many of those who had an encounter with the Lord. His heart had been conquered by the Lord his rebellious heart had been softened and he was ready to answer his calling. It is my prayer today that we may recognize God's hand even in the midst of our suffering, that even in the deepest ends we may not take our eyes from the Lord. And if in our difficult moments we have lost sight of the Lord, may we look once more towards him. May we remember the Lord with gratefulness for preserving us even when we pass through the fire. And like Jonah said, I will fulfill my vows. May we remember to fulfill the vows we have made before the Lord if he delivers us. Because when we are in trouble, we are quick to say and to vow what we will do. 
May we not remain the same after our encounter with the Lord. It is my prayer that if you are going through a dark phase in life, when it has served its purpose and the Lord's purpose in your life, you can stand and proclaim like Jonah that salvation is of the Lord. Shalom, this is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight and this is Divine Experience Day 16. Thank you for your continued support and encouragement to the making of the Daily Insights. Reaching an average of 60 people a day with over 10,000 total plays. I invite you to partner with us by supporting this podcast through monthly or one-time donation. Your contribution will be used to sustain the episode subscription and hosting platform. My goal is to inspire and share insightful messages in our generation, empowering one person at a time each day to continue serving the purposes of God in our generation. Your support is highly appreciated. Click that support button now and give your support. You can support with $1, $5, all as much as you are able to give blessings.